and welcome to my YouTube channel or if you've been around for a little while then welcome back, thank you so much for coming by. If you are new here my name is Ruby and I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos. So today's video is a what's new and in my wardrobe, so showing you kind of new accessories, new outfits, everything like that. This stuff has been bought over a long period of time so a lot of this was bought a good month or so ago but I just haven't got around to showing you yet. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be quite nice to do a little light-hearted video of everything that's in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I don't want to put any disclaimers or anything out there, but I am aware there are contrasting opinions about whether you should be shopping at the moment, but the government advice is to carry on shopping, carry on as you would kind of normally online, so yeah, that is what I'm doing. So, little disclaimer out of the way, and let's get on with the video. So first up, we have accessories. Okay, so the first pair of shoes are from H&M. Um, and H&M are killing it at the moment. I am loving everything that they're bringing out. They've got so much nice stuff. So the first pair of shoes are these. So hopefully you guys can see if I come in a little bit closer. Um, they are really reminding me of the YSL sandals. Um, if you've seen them, you'll know they look so similar. They're just a flat sandal, so they've got a tiny little heel, but barely anything there. Um, with like this nice crisscross in the kind of... Is that croc print? Yeah, I'd say croc print. So these don't have the price on them, so I will link them down below, but I think they were around the £25.99 mark. Um, I got them in a 3.5, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Really, really like them. They're so nice. I will show you them on in the try-on, but yeah, I just thought I would talk you through them now. And then the next shoes that I got from H&M were these. So these are like gorgeous, um, sort of like tie-up heel sandals, but the heel is really like nice and low, so I thought these would be perfect for like summer garden parties or weddings or anywhere where you're going to be like on the grass um, but you still want a bit of a heel, christenings, like whatever, um, barbecues, all those kind of occasions that I'm very much looking forward to. Um, and they have a really nice kind of two strap detail over the toe and then these essentially just wind up around the leg. Um, I'll pop a picture on screen of me wearing these. Um, but yeah, they're leather, they're beautiful. I think they were a little bit of a higher price point because they are leather um, but they feel so nice and soft and yeah, I'm so happy with them. And I know I'm going to get so much wear out of them because I'm not really the kind of person that likes wearing like big high heels like I find them quite difficult to walk in um, and I just feel I don't feel that confident in heels because I'm so scared I'm going to fall over so these are a brilliant alternative because they're really low really easy to walk in and you have that like security where you can tie yourself in quite tight and you know they're not going to be kind of flapping about um, so yeah they're really nice and like comfortable so yeah they are the two shoes from my haul okay so this is the first dress I've just got a belt with me because I'm going to belt it and show you how that looks but I just want to show you how it looks without the belt first. Um, so it is pretty long. I'm five foot five, so just so you can bear that in mind, it does come up literally just above my ankles. But obviously, when you belt it, you can kind of cinch it up a little bit. But yeah, I had quite a few people asking me kind of how it comes up and like the length and stuff. So I wanted to show you it without the belt, but I would definitely wear it with the belt just to give it a bit more shape, really. So I'm going to do that now and show you. Okay, there we go. So the belt is from Zara. And I just think it kind of breaks up kind of the feminineness of the dress by adding a more kind of grungy kind of feel with the big black belt, with the hardware and stuff. Um, and then I popped it on with my Gucci loafers, but you could wear like black sandals or black boots or trainers. I think it's quite versatile really. And I definitely think it kind of creates a much nicer silhouette shape with the belt on as well. Uh, just kind of cinches you in a little bit at the waist. And then like I said, if you pull it up, then it shortens the dress too, which is an added bonus. So yeah, this is the first one from H&M. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm wearing this in a size medium and I actually probably should have got a small. I just didn't really know which one to get and now obviously it's sold out. So hopefully this comes back in stock. Um, I will link it down below so you can keep your eye on it. And I'll also link a similar one as well. So yeah, this is this one. I love it. So, so nice. So next up we have this dress, which you guys will have seen quite a few times because I have filmed a video on it and it's also on my Instagram. Um, but it's from River Island, but I bought it from ASOS. Really, really lovely kind of, it's given me kind of Isabel Morant slash kind of Love Shack fancy vibes. Really nice kind of boho feel. It's just got so many nice detailing. So it's obviously got the button up, but it's got the lace here, the ruffles, the big kind of frill here, elasticated waist, and then like a bit of like a tiered skirt. It's so nice, it's so flattering, I think, where it kind of cinches you in at the waist. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. I think it's probably one of my favourite dresses um, that I've bought in a long time. So yeah, I really love this. You know what I'm like for a white dress, I'm an absolute sucker. Um, but this is kind of like an ivory colour, kind of like an ivory cream. So yeah, love this one. Again, I think it may be sold out or it might only have a few sizes left, but I'll link it um, and hopefully it will come back in stock or there'll be returns or whatever. So yeah, really, really like this one. Such a nice dress. I've just paired it with my white Gucci loafers, but it would look so nice with some heels or some wedges, like for a you know, christening or a summer occasion or whatever. Um, 
but it would also look nice with like trainers and just wearing it casually with like a denim jacket or something so yeah i think it's quite versatile okay so this is another h&m dress and this gives me such zimmerman vibes i mean to be honest it's pretty much a copy of it um it's got really nice kind of scallop detailing here which goes all the way through the dress goes through the waist and down into the skirt it's kind of like a skater style skirt so it cinches you in nicely just kind of below the boobs and then goes out into like a little bit of a skater style and then the sleeves are kind of like a little bit of a puff sleeve it's just really beautiful it's so nicely made it's a linen blend as well so it's so so like it just the fabric hangs so nicely I mean it was quite expensive I think because it is the linen I think it was around the 50 pound mark but I mean compared to like Zimmer and that's not expensive at all only thing i would say it's quite low cut so in terms of a bra it's quite difficult to wear a bra like i am wearing one but i've just pulled it down but it would probably rise up so it's just something to bear in mind maybe if you had bigger boobs it wouldn't be as much of a problem because it would come up a bit higher but for me this is <laughs> how it looks um but yeah fits really nicely it sits really nicely kind of on my legs like i don't think it's too short at all and yeah oh it's just a beautiful dress and honestly i think i would have paid like over 100 pound for this because of the way it's made it just looks so so well made and really good quality um so yeah really happy with this one and i'm pretty sure this is still in stock so fingers crossed anyway but yeah i mean i don't really know what else to say about it really it would look so gorgeous with a pair of heels um look nice with like some loafers like i'm wearing it as you can see i wear these white gucci loafers with pretty much everything um but yeah, it really is a beautiful dress and I'm really, really happy with it. It's not see-through at all as well because it's got this second lining here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, you literally can't see my underwear at all, which is amazing in a white dress. <laughs> okay, so next up we have this dress and this is from Topshop and it is such a beautiful dress. It's got a really nice kind of like ditzy pink and green floral print, which I love. It's got lovely detailing just under the bust. So it's got this really cute frill and then the tie detailing here. So you can cinch it in, which is really, really nice. Um, and I just think that creates like a really nice silhouette. Has big puff sleeves, which I love, just really like voluminous and just looks really nice. Um, and then it goes down into pretty much a maxi dress, but it does have this slit at the side. So it gives you like quite nice movement when you're walking and everything and just makes it hang nicer. Um, and then, yeah, it's quite a low V, but it's quite... I don't have to describe it, like I don't feel like I'm going to fall out of this, like I'm not wearing a bra but I don't feel like I'm going to fall out of this at all because I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you, hang on let me flip my hair that way. If you can see at the back it's got like a tie, um, so the tighter you tie that the kind of tighter the front will be, so if you wanted more of an open V kind of at the front um, you could tie it a bit looser. But yeah, it's really, really nice. So it's got a nice open back as well. So you can't really wear a bra um, with this. So this might not work for people who potentially have like bigger boobs. But for me, it works quite well. Um, and I just love it. I mean, I know obviously there aren't any weddings at the moment. But I think this is a gorgeous dress for a wedding. Um, so yeah, next wedding I get invited to, I would love to wear this. Also, I was going to say, I was just looking at that it then. I think this would be a really good dress for um, like a maternity dress. Because this is like, there's like a lot of room in there. Like as you can see, you could literally have quite a big bump with this so it's another good shout if you're looking for a wedding occasion dress um if you're pregnant or whatever so yeah okay so this could definitely do with an iron but it is such a nice dress so it's from h&m it's my kind of favorite style dress it's like a smock dress it's just so comfortable like you honestly feel like you're barely wearing anything when you wear these especially with this because i think it might be cotton or something so it's very like breathable um so it has like a bit of a v-neck with the tie up, so you could tie it up if you want, but I quite like it open. Um, it has puff sleeves and then it goes down into this kind of smock style with like two tiers. Um, comes sort of just above my knees. Um, in terms of whether it's see through, like I've got white pants on and you can kind of see them, but not really. I think this would be great for like a throw on over like a bikini and stuff, but I also think if you wore nude pants, you'd be absolutely fine in wearing this day to day. I love a dress like this that you just chuck on, like you don't even need to think about it and it looks good. Um, I've also paired it with the black sandals from H&M. Please excuse the state of my toes because obviously I can't get them done at the moment, but I think those sandals are really, really nice and they're a great kind of ones to just chuck on. Um, but yeah, really happy with this dress. I think it was quite reasonable as well. I believe they also do it in a black and um, like maybe a, I think it was a yellow and white stripe which looked really really cool um, especially for holiday so yeah really nice one I think you could dress this up nice pair of like wedges like the castagna wedges um, that would look really nice with this dress okay so this next outfit is one that I really really like actually so it's all from mango so I have this kind of vest top on from mango and it's very kind of similar to the frankie shop tees that everybody's obsessed with with the shoulder pads i really really like this but i got it in a medium and i think it's a bit big 
like you can see my bra and stuff um, so I think it could do with being a little smaller I can maybe put a stitch in it um, but I might see if they have a small online I don't know we'll see um, so yeah really like that and then I have the gold chain on from Mango which I think looks quite cool with this t-shirt um, and then these jeans are from Mango so I was really skeptical about these I don't know why I just thought this style doesn't suit me so it's kind of like the balloon style and Zara have loads of these style jeans and I've tried them so many times and they just don't look right on me but these are a lot kind of skinnier than the Zara ones the Zara ones are huge like they really balloon um, but these ones are a lot kind of skinnier I think they're a lot more flattering on me so I've got these in like a darker wash but I also got them in um, the cream colour too so I'm going to try them on and um, they're quite short that's the only thing that I kind of wish they were a little longer um, but I think they are really cool actually and to be fair they don't look too bad on the bum either I mean they don't look great but I wouldn't say they're like unflattering um, so yeah I think they're really really nice lovely colour too um, I've just popped this Zara belt on top of them um, but yeah I actually think they're really flattering I think they work really well with a top like this tucked into them sorry I just realised I was totally wrong the top is actually H&M Sorry about that. Okay, so the next piece is from H&M and um, it is this trench coat. Now, I'm fully aware I do not need any more trench coats because I have a rather large collection, but I am also obsessed with them. Um, so yeah, it's this big kind of like, what I loved about it was the sleeves because they're quite like kind of voluminous and then they have the two buttons there. Um, I really liked the colour as well. Again, I think this is a little big. I don't know what size I got this in, but I think it's a small, um, but it's obviously just very oversized. Um, I do like it, but I think it just kind of drowns me a little bit. Um, as you can see, it's so long. So I might see if they have an extra small, I don't know. Um, I don't know whether it's worth it because I do have a lot of trenches, but I love the colour. And if you're looking for something a little bit different, then I think this could be a really, really great option. Um, it has a tie detail, so you can obviously tie it all round, but I don't do that because I think you look a little bit like a stripper. As in like a flasher, not a stripper. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, those... Oh my god, ignore me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, it's cool. It looks cool with this outfit as well. It's nice colours together and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so these are the cream version of the jeans that I was just wearing. Um, I've just tucked my top up so you can kind of see how they fit and stuff. I really like them. Again, they're the exact same. But, yeah, they're really nice. Love the colour. If I go in a little bit closer, you can see it's like brown stitching, um, which I think is quite cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, nothing else really new. I think these feel a little bigger for some reason, but they're the exact same size. They're a 10. Um, they're so comfortable though, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, really like them, just paired them with my Gucci loafers, but I don't know if I would... I think they can maybe look better with like trainers or maybe heels. Um, this is just like a white Topshop tee from ages ago that I thought I'd chuck on. Um, but yeah, so that is those ones. So I also want to show you these, which I got from H&M. Um, and I had really high hopes for these, but I just think they look a little bit like clown trousers. I don't know whether maybe again they're a bit big, but they do fit me around my waist. Um, I really love lilac at the moment, so that's why I sort of wanted to try them out, but I just think they're a bit too, there's just too much material. I think if they were a bit, yeah, like that would be nicer. Um, they're also quite cheap feeling, like, I don't know, they look a little see-through. Um, and yeah, they just don't feel the nicest on, but I do love the idea of like a white tee and like lilac trousers and some trainers. Um, I think like some big chunky trainers would look quite cool, or like my Balenciagas maybe, but that's just too much material. I mean, look at it. I think if it was, yeah, definitely if it was more like that, they'd be so nice. I don't know whether they're worth getting tailored. Probably not, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you them anyway, because I think they're cool, but I don't think they're quite right. Okay, so next outfit. I didn't actually realise I had bought the jeans in black as well, and I'm so glad I did, because I love them. The black ones, again, are a little bit longer. I think there's quite a few variations in the sizing, because they're a bit bigger as well. Um, but I've just chucked on this Zara belt, and then this t-shirt, which is very similar to the white H&M one, but it's the grey version, and this is from Mango. Got it in a size small, and it definitely fits way better. So, yeah, I wish I'd got the other one in a small, but there we go. Um, but yeah, I love this outfit. I think it's so cool and slouchy. I think it's so great for, like, kind of like a spring summer's day when you kind of don't want to wear a dress and you still want to look a little bit kind of like I don't know edgier then um, I think this is great and I know black jeans in the spring summer isn't really a thing but I think because these are a bit baggier um, they kind of look more like trousers than jeans and they feel like trousers they're honestly so comfy I'd really recommend trying these um, again I've just got my um, Kurt Geiger uh, sandals on but yeah love the colour of this top it's like a marley grey 
And yeah, I just think this is a really nice outfit. I'm really, really happy with this outfit actually, and I know I would definitely wear this out. Um, so yeah, really, really like this. I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did, but the top is from Mango and so are the jeans. So yeah, I will link it all down below, of course. Okay, so this next piece is from Topshop and um, it definitely doesn't go with these jeans, but I've just kind of chucked it on to show you. Um, so it is this kind of thin jumper. It's got quite a high neck. I would say um, this would be fine for like spring, but probably not summer because it's kind of warm. Um, but it has these kind of exaggerated puff sleeves, which I think are so cool and different, but I've got quite wide shoulders. So I think... I kind of look like an American football player. I don't know. If I put my necklace out, that might break it up a bit. But I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. I think they're a little bit too puffy for me. Um, but I do I do like the idea and I like the style a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm not 100% on this one. And I think people are probably going to say the same. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, so this is obviously a little bit different to the other bits that I showed you, but um, I also ordered some more gym wear. I love H&M for gym wear. I think they're so good. The stuff is just really comfortable, really affordable, and yeah, I just love it. So um, this sports bra is from them. Um, really nice shape. It's like a deep navy, which is lovely. Nice and supportive. I have quite small boobs, though, so maybe for bigger boobs, this might not be supportive enough. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. I think it's a lovely shape and I'd actually wear this as a top and I would never normally want to wear a sports bra as a top, but I just think it's very flattering. Sometimes I find with sports bras, like your like skin and stuff can kind of hang over them and can make them quite unflattering, but this is so soft and like I said, nice and seamless, so it doesn't do that. Um, and it covers quite a lot of me up. Like I don't like sports bra that barely cover anything. Um, and then these are just some shorts, so pretty boring really. I don't even know how well you're going to be able to see them, but they've got like a tighter short underneath and then um, a kind of baggy bit on the bot on the top, sorry. Um, really flattering, I think they'd be quite good for running in, especially because it's quite warm at the moment. So yeah, I just thought I would show you that because if you haven't thought about checking H&M out for gym wear, I really recommend you do. I'm wearing these shorts in a medium and I think this top, this top's in a small. Um, and I've also got it in um, a white color, so I'll show you that as well. Okay, so this is the white one. For some reason, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, I probably could have maybe done with an extra small, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you. You can probably see the coloring and stuff a little nicer here. Sorry, I'm trying to show you without revealing too much of myself. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that one. So this next one is just a gym top. So it's just a black kind of oversized baggy top. Um, really like it. I mean, you probably can't really make it out that clearly, but it's just quite a nice shape and it's so soft as well, which I think is going to be really nice when I'm like hot and sweaty. Like it feels quite breathable. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's quite boring, really. I also got the same one in khaki, but I won't show you because it is kind of boring. But yeah, like I said, do check out H&M. And that is the end of what's new in in my wardrobe. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, and that it gave you a little bit of kind of, I don't know, escapism from everything that's going on at the moment. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. If you want to see sort of how I style up these looks or anything like that, then head over to my Instagram, which is at rubyholly underscore. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.